You know, I, I I gotta say, man, it's been a it's been a long three days when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, man. Uh, Wrestle Kingdom nights one, nights two, depending how you watched it. If you watched it live or you waited till the next day to watch it on demand and that. And, you know, I was wondering if I was going to do this review and that, but I might as well. It's been three days. This is the night after Wrestle Kingdom. It's Jushin, Th- it's Jushin Thunder Liger's uh, retirement ceremony. And even I felt this was a big thing to review because there was a lot of important stuff on the show going on, too. Um, you know, with the ceremony and whatnot. But, uh, you know, after two days in the Tokyo Dome and now back in the, um, what I think is the Ota City um, Gymnasium, I think I have the name of that right, not in the Corkin Hall, that they usually go after um, Wrestle Kingdom. But, um, you know, they, they talked about the card right at the right off the bat at the show, what was going to be on tonight with the matches. Uh, but we did kick it off. Uh, I don't know who's on commentary, what not, the, you know, English announced team. We kicked it off with the uh, Jushin Thunder Liger um, retirement, ceremony, retirement ceremony that was about to take place. Um, they had a video package for Liger um, and whatnot. Uh, you know, talked about pretty much all his career accomplishments and everything he's done the past 31 years of professional wrestling. Um, they had Tanahashi lead. I was pretty much a whole bunch of faces coming out with him wearing Liger shirts, him... I believe Juice was out there, David Finley, uh, Shibata, uh, Yuji Nagata, uh, Benami Nakanishi, uh, Kojima, Tiger Mask, multiple accounts of young boys, legends, uh, separate, basically all the faces that were out there. Uh, Liger came out uh, in his gear. Uh, he didn't, didn't really have a suit on, which I think he was going to come out maybe in a suit with the mask on, but no, he came out in his full gear like he was about to wrestle right now. Um, Tanashi had presented Liger with flowers. Uh, the wrestlers shook his hand. Um, a lot, they said a lot of flowers were from other companies too. So they, were, they came from around the world. Some of them were from Ring of Honor. Some were from Kushida, Shinsuke Nakamura, uh, NXT. Because, you know, they were here in the company before, but they respected Liger and, you know, other companies gave flowers and whatnot. But as, you know, they all posed and took a photo then, you know, the wrestlers with Tanashi. The Chaos Group came out next. They uh, offered their um, their gift of you know flowers, and they all took a picture together. Okada wanted a, t- a selfie though, which I thought that was pretty cool. All the Chaos faction and uh, Liger took a selfie together. I-, I thought that was pretty cool that the crowd even laughed a little, but they gave him photos off. Uh, I mean, gave them um, flowers also, and they took photos. Uh, New Japan executives also uh, gave- had presented him with photos and whatnot. Uh, Harold May, which I heard he was leaving the company. I, I swear I heard that about a few months ago, the president of New Japan. Uh, I don't know how true that was, but he was here tonight. And uh, Naoki Suba, uh, Sugabashi uh, also, that was a New Japan executive, gave flowers. Uh, they brought in his wife and his son that presented him flowers. And, they, you know, he took pictures with them. And um, Tanahashi was in the crowd. You know, prior to wrestlers out there, he was kind of crying out there, looking at the ceremony. There was also a special video message from Antonio uh, Inoki. I don't think that was translated, but I think he just fa- thank Liger for all his time he has done in New Japan. I, I guess he couldn't make it and everything. I think with Inoki start this whole company, but he thanked Liger for all you know, pretty much everything he put into uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, Liger had the, the microphone in as he thanked fans. He thanked everybody all around the world for his career, but he wanted to get personal for a second. Uh, he wanted to thank his mom. Um, she, he says she's not in really good health right now, but she traveled all the way to Hiroshima uh, just to come to the Tokyo Dome and here for this retirement ceremony. And he thanked every, you know, for everything uh, she has done to turn uh, to the man he is today. And uh, they actually showed her in the crowd, so they did put the camera on his um, mom, which they showed. Uh, but she was able to make it just just for this um, Liger's final time. Uh, he also thanked his wife and his son, and, you know, they've had to live um, kind of like a lonely life on the road and whatnot, but now he's coming home, and they got to put up with him now, basically, so, you know, he's coming back home to his family, and like I say, he thanked everyone, every fan, everyone, New Japan, <clears throat> but, yeah, he thanked New Japan, and like, you know, he told people, like, don't stop watching New Japan because I'm not here. 
support New Japan for everything they have done, even when he's not here and whatnot. But he thanked everyone, you know, for the career he's had. And there was a Tim Bell, a Tim Bell salute. Then uh, everyone remained silent and they showed respect and stood um, and everything, uh, just you know, to pay tribute to him as they did this uh, Tim Bell salute. But right after that, um, Liger's music hit. The wrestlers had got in the ring, you know, all the faces. And they tossed Liger up into the air a couple times, which Kevin Kelly explained that was a Japanese tradition. And that they do it in baseball also, I guess, like, for, like, a final thing. So they tossed Liger in the air. And even Tanahashi had uh, got everyone in the crowd to sing along the to Liger's theme song then. So everybody in, in the crowd and the wrestlers in the ring started singing all along together. Um, Liger shook hands with all the wrestlers that were in the ring. And whatnot as they sang it. And he took one big lap around the ring to slap hands with the announce team and fans and everyone. And, and everything, you know, just, just you know, get a high five and whatnot. Before he headed back to up the stage, he took one last final bow. And he headed back there. So, I, I gotta say, that was a very beautiful ceremony that happened. Um, that, that was great. I thought it was, um, it was nice to see. I actually thought everybody knew Japan was going to come out, but I guess they just kept, they just let the faces um, that came out there. But overall, um, at the end of the day, um, like I said before in my Wrestle Kingdom review, Jushin Thunder Liger has had a magnificent career. And um, like I said before, he ended out on top when we know he can still go and he's still the shit and he still got it. But I think he'd rather go out on top instead of, you know, going out where he doesn't have it anymore because he still had it, but... I just think he knew it was time when to go, and he put in a lot of work, like a worldwide, like I said, worldwide career, highly respected, universally loved, and um, like I said, it was just a lot of thanks, and you know, from people all over the world online, from any wrestling company this guy has been in, and like I said, I had named some moments and you know some matches I've seen him in before, but. You can go all the way from WCW to TNA to Impact. I'm oh, sorry, TNA Impact, same thing. To Ring of Honor to NXT uh, to, um, like I said, New Japan. I believe all tra- it, it's a lot of companies this guy's been in I don't even know about, okay? But he had a very nice speech and everything. Like I said, thanking his family, his family out there uh, for being part of this too. Because even though I saw some of the, I don't know if I saw the this time's post comments, but I, I saw the one and they actually had the creator of the, Jushin Thunder Liger character, the person that actually created it, that was out there with him um, during one of the press conferences and whatnot. So, you know, in a way, like we, I will say this um, one time too, though. I know it's a little bit early right now, but I'll tell you right now, um, when it's going to become close to the end of the year, though, um, you going to have to put that, like, you're going to have to put, um, this is probably one of those top 10 stories of the year right now. Uh, the retirement of Jushin Thunder Liger. Like, we all knew last year was coming when it was first announced and he was on a retirement tour. But when you finally now get to the end, like, literally not the end, like, the final day that we know he's done from at this point. Uh, it feels different when you finally uh, get there and whatnot. Because it's like you don't want to believe it's over, but it really is over. It's, is it bittersweet? Yes, it is. But, like, you got to be happy for all the great times. You Anyone that has watched uh, him in the ring uh, for years and, and whatnot. So, like I said, um, I'm sure people wondering, like, well, what's next? I don't know, man. Like, do, do I believe we will see Jushin Thunder Liger, uh, maybe somehow, some way, a part of wrestling again? I'm not, I'm not saying in the ring or whatnot. Like, we, we know that he's not an active competitor anymore. But do I see him maybe coming back a couple times in the future? Maybe, uh, maybe commentary, maybe something special. I, I don't know. Uh, I do believe we. This may be the last time we've seen him or whatnot. But. Uh, I, I oh no, but I do believe one day we will see Liger uh, somewhat back, which will probably also have to do with New Japan uh, most likely. But um, because I think mean, he's like what 54, 53 years old and whatnot. So um, like I said, I don't I don't think he's coming back to the ring in general. So I'm not gonna go around and go speculate any type of angle or work or question and all this. Which you already heard my ideas of what I thought uh, his last match uh, should have been, uh, in my opinion. In a one-on-one situation, but uh, yeah, it's still fan- fine too, and uh, you know I'm sure that's how he wanted it and everything. But um, on whatnot, so like I said, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions uh, 
not gonna start saying this guy's gonna like come back out of nowhere and just come out of retirement. But you know, I look at a lot of wrestling when people retire. It's like they come out of retirement one way or another. Because when they say they retired, I always feel like they don't retire because they, for some reason, they either love it too much or it's just. Uh, I still think it's money to why uh, that happens a lot. But you know, I, I will say though, um, you know, what's, what's crazy though, I do feel like sometimes is that. Yeah, you know, so it's so hard to imagine him without the mask uh, sometimes, because so, you don't really know this guy looks like that much, because uh, he's always had that gear on for years. Now, don't get me wrong, I learned about the many forms of Liger throughout the year in this whole retirement thing. Well, I already knew about the CT Black Eye Liger, but I didn't know there's so many forms from the Keishan Liger and Battle Liger and just ma many forms of him, I guess, without the body suit, uh, the whole bionic armor suit and whatnot. And like I said, this guy's like jacked to the gills and, and you know, too. But uh, it's it's almost a little bit weird now. Um, I guess not. It's like he's gonna. I guess it's gonna. I don't know if he's ever gonna take off the mask or go out. Well, I'm sure he does go out the mask sometime. But it's almost like one of those things where it's an identity you've had for so long that you just don't look like your age because he's had that mask on for years. You don't. I've never really noticed his face look like, and he could still move the same because he. You know, before he retired, I always like how long has he been around in wrestling? Because I didn't even know that at, at one point. I, I really didn't. And and whatnot. So I learned more throughout the years and whatnot. But um, yeah, you know, um, like I said, overall, it, it, like I said, it was a very great ceremony. Uh, I recommend going back to watch it, especially if you are a fan in general of uh, Jushin Thunder. Like I would say, it's a very, it's a very important moment in wrestling history, just in in general. Okay, just just in wrestling in general. So um, yeah, that's that's what I just wanted to say about uh. The whole ceremony, I I thought it was a very, I thought it was a very nice ceremony and, and everything, because a lot of people think, a lot of people, a lot of think this was gonna be an angle or something, like something was gonna happen. Like I would have been shocked if something happened and then this leads into some angle or some match. I'm like, these motherfuckers have me full for almost nine months now, but I don't think that was gonna happen, no. But like I said before, do I do I think we'll see him maybe in the future one day? I do. I do. Not in the ring. I'm not saying wrestle, but like I said, some form or capacity shape something. Uh, we will may see him again sooner or later. But, you know, overall, like I said, uh, just a, a beautiful ceremony. And I recommend anybody uh, to come back and watch this. Uh, it was it was very nice to see. And um, just, like I said, you just see the respect from the crowd. It's, it's, it's great. All right. So, uh, that's what I just wanted to say about the uh, Jushin Thunder Liger um, retirement ceremony. Gomari got though, Liger son. <clears throat> but uh, moving on though, we do get to the official uh, New Year's Dash show. Um, we do kick it off with, um, I guess, the Young Boys, the LA Dojo, uh, Alex Carl, Carl Fredericks, and Clark Connors versus Toa Hanari, Yota Suji, and uh, Yua Yuamura. Um, very good match kick off the show. I will say that. I tell you, man, these young boys are just getting better and better. Those those LA Dojo guys. They got something. I'm telling you, man. I, somebody told me, man, these guys look more jacked than they usually do. Sh Shibata's doing a good job. Like, he really is. He's doing a good job training these guys. I will tell you that right now. So, um, he, he's doing something with these young boys. I'm telling you. But, uh, Fredericks ended up getting the, uh, single leg Boston Craft for a UMR to, um, you're more to uh, tap out. I think the LA Dojo and the New Japan Dojo start arguing with each other at one point. Then I feel like it's one about the fight in the back. You and more looked um, pretty much frustrated then um, right after the match. Uh, next Fatal 4-Way uh, tag team match of all four factions facing each other. Suzuki Goon, Bullet Club, LIJ, and um, Chaos for Pongi 3K. Hiromo Takahashi and Bushi, uh, Phantasmo and Taiji Shimori, and El Desperado and Kanemaru. Uh, good tag match, I will say that. Basically, uh, in, ended up with Bushi trying to spray the mist. Uh, in a, um, he tried to spray the Desperado, but he hit one of a uh, show, I believe, one of the Rapongi 3K. Ishimori, if someone knocked him out the ring then, uh, Desperado ended up getting a roll-up. So I guess sooner or later, Desperado and Karamaru will be getting a shot next at the tag team uh, championships against um, against Sho and Yo. So expect that to go down pretty soon. Uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Kodobushi, Juice Robinson, and David Finley went against Bullet Club. G.O.D., Bad Luck Fale, and Chase Owens. I like those jackets G.O.D. came out with. Um, good tag match, I will say that, but I think the story is that 
Kota Bushi finally got a win after the two big losses he had uh, this weekend at Wrestle Kingdom. So he got a win here tonight over over Chase Owens, hit him with the Kamagoye. But then after the match, it looked like Juice and Finley were trying to take a picture with uh, Tana and Ibushi. But they're like, no, 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 no. We don't want to take a picture with you. Nah. We want a shot at those tag belts. And they said, okay. So I guess um, Ibushi and Tana are just going to go for the tag belts now. Kind of, I thought Ibushi would still kind of go for the world titles or something, still be in the mix of that. But now it looks like he's just going to tag with Tana for the, the tag team belts now, it looks like. Um, so I guess that's going to happen. Next, Shingo Takagi and uh, Evil versus Tomio Ishii and Hiroki Goto. This is probably the best match tonight. You want to talk about a hard-hitting, knocking the crap out of each other style match. These guys, Shingo and Goto, are just going in out there. I'm telling you, man. Them left and rights was just going in nuts. And, and uh, Shingo trying to hit the pumping bomber on Goto uh, was insane. Because uh, Goto came back with that, those pretty much the head butts and the punches. And he was going for that big kick. But Shingo grabbed his leg and put on the ropes. And he put him on there. He did a reverse GTR. And he came back with the last of the dragon for the win. Like I said, you want to see a great match for almost uh, 10, 12 minutes out there. This was like this was like a legit fight. And then Shingo got in the microphone and pretty much talked about, I want a shot at the Never Openweight Championship next. Because... Naito, I guess, you know, um, encourage him or something after seeing him win the double titles. Like, I want my own title now. So, over Shingo gets back a push, and we'll see him in Goto again. Like, hey, I beat you in the G1. You beat me in Kobe. So, this is not over yet, and I want a rubber match, and I want it for that never open weight championship. So, Shingo versus Goto, I'm good with that. Um, next, Suzuki Goon, Minoru Suzuki, Zack Sabre Jr., Lance Archer and Tai Chi versus Chaos, Okada, Will Ospreay, Yoshiashi, and uh, Robbie Eagles. Good match. Of uh, which like to set up some feuds though. Well, I think it's setting up w- between um, Osprey and Zack Saber Jr. and I guess Tai Chi and Okada, which I don't think a lot of people may want to see that in that. But um, <clears throat> basically, this match ended in a DQ because. Um, Tai Chi used that iron finger thing that looks silly at the time. He started beating up Okada in after that. The next thing you know, well, he's going for that last ride power bomb until John Moxley's music hit, which I actually thought he was gone from this point, but he was still there. And uh, pretty much got in the ring then. Him and Moxley we had a stare down. They start slapping each other then and whatnot. Very big palm strikes then and everything, but Mox and the winning uh, pretty much. Uh, Kicking him in and hitting a Death Rider. And he told him, like, you better stay off my territory or whatnot. Suzuki pretty much smiled then and whatnot. Saying he must love this stuff. So, I am looking way... I am looking very forward to seeing Mox versus Suzuki. And I'm like a lot of other people now. This is probably the most thing Mox has done more important than any match he's done in his AEW uh, career so far. That I see people say, like, like, his New Japan work better than his AEW work. And I'm really looking forward to um, Mox and... Uh, Suzuki, I'm surprised if it was going to be another back and forth thing tonight. I don't know when that match is happening, but I hope it's pretty soon, though. But I'm surprised even another back and forth. People thought Mox already left on the plane to go back to America. Or like, oh, no, 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 I got unfinished business here. I'm not done with him yet. So the war has only just become between John Moxley and Minoru Suzuki. And I'm looking way forward to that. Uh, main event time, no. Um, Kenta and Jay White. Versus um, Sonata and the new double champion Tetsuya Naito. Had the black suit on and whatnot. Uh, Kenta, of course, bring, being at the big heel he is right now. Getting major heat level booze and whatnot. Wanted to, he was going to go for the title or anything. But uh, this was something big to talk about. Uh, like, the match itself was good. Especially Naito trying to get his payback on Kenta and everything. But um, it ended up with... Uh, Sonata kind of getting a roll up over uh, Kenta, but Kenta and Jay White got some chairs and they started beating up LIJ with the rest of the crew to come help you. And then White Freeman says, uh, All right, Sonata, you need to come back to reality because you're not better than me. He gave the microphone to Kenta. Kenta was uh, pretty much dest- uh, described, I guess, translated what uh, Jay said. Uh, you know, um, you all are idiots, morons. That's what Jay called you. And, uh, 
you know, they were asked of the Tokyo Dome and everything. Why are the fans so angry, huh? And fans trying to tell them to go home. Like, all right, I'll go home. We started kind of dancing in where you try to listen to those chants and whatnot. A lot of different crowds. I think there's a more all over the world crowd this time. I didn't know a regular Japanese crowd. Uh, but Kenta pretty much walked up to, uh, not Kenta, uh, yeah, Kenta pretty much, um, you know, walked the night, I'll start stepping on him there, pretty much says, I will take this title, I'm taking both belts, I'm sorry, people want to watch Jay White's not doing it right now, Kenta, but I guess he's letting Kenta get away with this for a reason, for right now, what not, but, um, because, uh, White, he told Ken, like, you may look good, I have two belts and whatnot. So, Bullet Club beating the crap out of LIJ. No big uh, roll call for LIJ. Again, two nights in a row. We couldn't get it into Tokyo, no. And now we couldn't even get it in New Year's Dash because Jay White, you know, ghetto. And um, Kenta beat the crap out of both Sonata and Naito. Where's the rest of the team at? I don't know. But, uh, like I said, it was kind of important to talk about uh, the New Year's Dash show. Just seeing if there was anything important going on. Of course, Kent's in his major heel turn. Well, not already heel, but mega heel right now. He's just getting those big boos and just doing Ken to get some big heat out there, which is working. Uh, of course, the Mox and Suzuki, uh, another uh, standoff between those two that the crowd went nuts for. Um, and, you know, the Liger... Uh, ceremony also which was the probably what the biggest thing mostly the biggest thing on here so uh that was a big thing also when we saw that too so that's what i have to say about new year's dash i wanted to talk about because i knew it was something happened important the night after wrestle kingdom like it usually does so it came out with some newsworthy stuff throughout tonight's show especially in the aftermath of wrestle kingdom but what's gonna happen next after that i don't know but uh we'll see like i said uh another fun show mox was back again um Kenta, Major Heel, and Liger's Retirement Ceremony. But other than that, I am done with this review. I will see you guys later. Peace out.